<laughs> Mark Story. Let the battle commence. Month four of rain, rain, thank you. God gamer feels well. <laughs> How are you using your chin? Uh, my chin is on the joystick, and when I when I move the joystick, uh -huh. yeah, I move the mouse in the game. And is that how you're clicking too? No, I, I'm clicking. Oh, um, it's a button, um, right and left. Oh, on your temple there? Yes. On your head? Oh. Okay. Oh, sorry. Did you just die? Yeah, it's a little bit hard <laughs> to uh, to talk and play. So no, it's okay. What were you like as a kid? Um, I was. Um, uh, very active kids. Um, I was very uh, much outside and uh, done a lot of sports. Do you think that you're all pretty competitive as a family? Yeah, I think um, my brother and me, we are very competitive. I had the advantage, I was always the older brother, had always a bit more Kraft in that sense. But my brother had never been able to get me. There were also things where he was better than me, and I had to accept it. Which one is Mark? Mark Sterlin. Oh, there he is. He has a talent for all kinds of sports. Oh my gosh. Skiing, yes, uh, <laughs> snowboarding. Strategic. I think this was the center of his life. This is 2007, the end of 2007, it looks like. Yes. And then 2008, there was uh, the accident. And this is, uh, I think it's, uh, it's another story. One year of quality content. Well, you hear about drivers crashing their cars through buildings. But what about kite surfers riding the wind right into a building? This actually happened in Lake Mangolia. So what do you remember about that day? It was a cold weather and it was planned that I was only there to watch. But my friend was the first one and he go, um, you, can, you can try it uh, if you like. There's really nothing on this beach, it's all flat, but only one house. And yeah, the wind was too strong and pushed me forward. I um, yeah, smashed uh, against uh, the strand house. Um. So you saved everything. Yeah. He flew against this uh, building. Oh, that's the building. No, that's the building. So this was a, tra a trauma helicopter. And then he, uh, he was, for six months, uh, he was in the hospital. And we were not uh, sure if he will be able to walk again. Maybe, maybe he will, will die. Can you talk about what it was like to have to be the one to tell him what his injuries were? I was um, 16. Ich hatte vorher nie was von einer Querschnittslähmung gehört. Es ihm dann aber auch zu sagen, und dann das in Max Augen zu sehen, war schon sehr belastend und natürlich sehr traurig, weil das natürlich keiner wahrhaben wollte. Ne? This was a moment of shock, because um, then I understand what's happening and what's going on. I can on. never leave. Okay, I can. It was very scary, but uh, your family members are. Um, or feeling sad about you and your situation and you want to change that because you are the reason for it and um, so I try to um, yeah, be strong for them. Normally I could cry every day because when I'm looking back these pictures and he was running and jumping but uh, I see the progress uh, today so for me it's a sort of tragedy, it was a kind of challenge I would say that we stand it uh, as a family. And now everything is, is normal. When my accident happened, I was very sad that I didn't really have many chances to be competitive to someone because of my handicap. And after two years or something like that, my best friend came to me and uh, yeah, he wanted to play Dota. I played with him before my accident and he said, yeah, Maybe we can play together again. 
So how often would you guys play together? Oh, I think maybe each day. Every day? <laughs> yes. The first game since two years Laying was on left, left. really bad. <laughs> and I think we lose within 10 minutes. <laughs> but it, uh, it was great. It was just um, the, the, the thing we did already before the accident. This was a really good feeling to play against other um, people and play uh, with my best friend uh, again. It we could probably beat Mega Kirks, uh, honestly. Played a lot. Oh. Uh oh. Uh, uh, uh. <laughs> okay. Easy. Uh, yeah, but, but the tower is down. Ah, GG. Who's the better Dota player right now? Uh, he. <laughs> <laughs> of course, he is a really good. I, uh, I don't know how he, how he can do it. Just so that people understand, how many Dota games have you played? Hmm, around 3,000 or 4,000 games, something like that. Okay, what's your MMR? Yeah, around uh, 3K. I was Legend 3. <laughs> Better than most Mega Now cooks. I'm Arkong 3 at the moment, but I hope that I rise again. Er erlebt das Spiel ja wirklich. Ich denke, das hat ihn auch vom Kopf her noch mal ein Stück nach vorne gebracht. I think Dota was the first time where he saw, okay, I can do something alone. And that was the first time to say, okay, maybe he can do some other things. Did you go back to school? Yes, I wanted to finish my high school degree. And we see that it's going to be okay. And then I, um, yeah, go to school again. And I got my bachelor and my master degree. What um, are your other goals looking ahead? Mm, I'm 27. Oh, it's good to live in, in, with my parents, but there is a time you need What to move out. What is that for, for your own. Also, Mark an sich ist wirklich auch ein Vorbild auch für mich. Also, er hat mir eigentlich beigebracht, dass es für jedes Problem eigentlich eine Lösung gibt. Man muss nur immer mal ein bisschen um die Ecke denken und. Um, I think he's the living example for how to manage the situation like that. I appreciate that, that I can be a part of his, his story, I would say. For me, Dota is a big thing in my life because it's my way to um, be competitive and I think it's good for me because I can accept my situation, my handicap better <laughs> and uh, accept who you are because mostly the people um, doesn't really know um, that I have a handicap online. When you play bad, um, they said you play bad and it's okay. So this handicap wasn't really a thing and now it's not really a thing in my life. Nice. I'm laughing. Guys, are you autistic or something? Like I know you have antisocial problems, but You gotta stop pretending. If you don't react the way I do, uh, you stupid or something. I was laughing at the people in the background because it made me think of Amaranth mods. And Rick add him to Steam friends strong. Where, is, where are they? For me, because so Amaranth mods, I can accept my Twitch mods. I situation. <laughs> Adam, uh, yes. Nice, still better than most Megahex and most.